Hello and welcome along. My name is Eddie and this is my vlog and uh, and we're back at Scatterbrook Farm in Shamrock Valley. Uh, and today we are going to be taking on this field of maize of corn here. Uh, and uh, and we're going to be using our uh, 350 AL. Uh, but the thing I want to talk to you guys about... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, William's saving some, uh, saving some fuel there while I'm doing my introduction here. Um, is we've had to go and buy this piece of kit. So this is a more modern New Holland tether. Fortunately, uh, it's backward compatible with the Fiat Agri here. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's slightly bigger than the one we had before. Uh, but the one we had before was all seized up and wasn't working. And yeah, it was just a whole pile of junk. So, uh, yeah, so we've got this, uh, new, new Holland one on the front. Should work fine. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, William is going to be doing the carting for us today. Uh, so we'll see how we go. So let's jump in. Starter up. Oh, there we go. Right, so this is... Uh, this should fold out. There we go. Right, and... Uh, Started up, looking very nice. And lower it down. And away we go. So, uh, yeah, so the uh, levelling and adjustment stuff is on the, uh, is, uh, is on the, the, not on the header itself, but the front bit. So uh, it makes it a lot easier for us to do uh, to put a header on this, and, and I have one that's a little bit, a uh, little bit newer, and uh, and just as compatible. Uh, fortunately, it runs as everything does with a PTO, um, but it's it's working fairly smoothly. It's working quite nicely. Um, it is uh, one of the other problems we had with our old header, and I don't know how the previous owner of the farm got past this. Twenty-five percent full, so we're going to have to empty probably when we get to the end of the first headland here. Um, was that it wasn't quite as wide as the wheels on the combine were. So he must have lost crop, or it must have pushed crop out of the way with its wheels, because it was, yeah, it was a little too wide. So, uh, yeah, there were there were a couple of reasons why I decided to get, uh, to, to invest in a new header, um, especially as we need, uh, we need to get lots done on this field and, uh, and get this all done. This is, um, Gonna is our penultimate vlog for now. Um, VF is. Uh, I think I might have said last time uh, that the VF is uh, investing in some new equipment and trying some new stuff out. So uh, yeah, we are. We're going to go our separate ways for a bit. Um, we uh, we do plan to do more videos together soon, uh, and as soon as uh, as soon as that is good, uh, he will let you know about that. Um, but at the moment, I've. I've I'm settled into Shamrock uh, Valley rather nicely, to be honest. Uh, we've got our new barn in. We've uh, we have had the fire, but we've, we've recovered from that, thankfully. Wow, that is 75% full. Yeah, that's 80%. I'm hoping the automatic kick out is not going to kick out before we get back, uh, and I'm just going to be able to empty straight into the trailer with any luck can be close the trouble with this is I can't look behind me and see how far we are there we go right so lift up our header So yeah, William has finally woken up. <laughs> he must have fallen asleep waiting for us or something like that. Here he is. Right, so uh, we're going to get this unloaded. Like 
so. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, so we could get roughly a uh, round of the field out. Uh, I'm going to get uh, three or four more headlands off. Uh, I think we're going to get a lot of brawn from this, which is fantastic news. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you once we get into the middle of the field, I think. So, uh, I have uh, emptied off uh, all of the headlands. We're, we're four headlands in now. Uh, and we've discovered an interesting little uh, side effect with this combine. Every, every time I've done stuff so far, it's always been with either a stationary trailer or, in fact, most of the time it's just been the stationary trailer or with a lower yield. On the corn, with this header, we're actually filling the tank at about the same rate as, the, uh, as it empties. So uh, it's, <laughs> it's one of those things where I've just had uh, William come round the entire uh, edge of the field with me because uh, we couldn't empty the combine. We were just continually going round. Uh, and until I cut in, there wasn't much we could, uh, you know, until I was ready to cut in, there wasn't much point in me, um, in me not having him there. Made for interesting run along the top where we, uh, of course, the combine was slanted the wrong way. But uh, in general, yeah, it was uh, it was an interesting one, that one. So, uh, went a bit funny, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to keep cutting in now. We should be in a position where we can, um, uh, where we're able to make you know, make good headway in this uh, and cut a lot of crop and uh, and get the rest of this field knocked out fairly quickly now that we've got those four headings on. Uh, the width of this works really well towards that. As you can see, we're 25% full. Uh, we are going to have to, we're basically going to have to stop to empty, I think. And I'm going to need to do it. Let's get the stuff that we used in this headland here. Let's do it have a clean up. Um, yeah, we're going to have to have a, uh, a stop every time we want to empty and we need to stop either down the slope down the slope up the slope or um, correct myself slightly uh, down the slope up the slope or uh, uh, like this where it's uh, it's down the slope uh, where the where the tractor is below us um, so we'll see how we go there. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit mad. There's, uh, it is the whole thing of uh, taking taking off the headlands and nearly filling up our trailer because the trailer was basically following us around for the for all the headlands. Uh, and it is, and it is slightly, it is because we have this slightly larger header on than we've had before. Uh, and I can see why it's smaller head of that. Uh, you know, even with the, the possibility that it might damage the uh, the crop, uh, there was still uh, the fact that it did just, the tank just didn't fill up quicker than uh, than it could be emptied. Uh, it's not the fastest order on this. Right, I'm going to see if I can call over um, William at this point. Right, here he comes. Uh, because he's downhill of us, it should be fine. The combine is raised uh, on this side. Well, it's lowered on the other side, so it should fit under there fine. Yeah, there we go. Let's start that up and empty that out. Uh, we might as well drive to the end of the road. Uh, he's going to have to... Um, he's going to have to go to the tip, right? Maybe. Uh, 
but it should be. Uh, we've got we've got really good yield on here. You know, compared to the canola, compared to the disappointment of the canola, um, this this is just a fantastic yield. We're going to have uh, at least a couple of traders on here, uh, which is just fantastic. Uh, right, so I'm going to get this emptied and uh, cut to, to when he ends off. I think. Yeah, so he has a full tank now. Uh, so I'm going to pull in my. Uh, uh, he'll head off and go and tip that. Uh, I am going to get into here and start cutting again and, uh, and getting this all cut and done. Uh, we are nearly halfway through the field, which is fantastic news. And this header is, uh, uh, other, other than the issue we have with unloading, other than the fact that it's, uh, we, we need to stop to unload because of how, uh, because of how much this uh, gives us. Uh, where is that? Right, he's on the way back. Uh, as we cut through here and uh, and yeah we can get this out I will be very happy with that's the, I mean that is fantastic to have uh, at least just with the canola we had three fields and we got one uh, one out with this we have one field and we and we've already had more out than we had which is just I mean that is exceptional to uh, that is absolutely amazing that we've uh, that this does so well. Mind you, this is worth about a third of what the canola is, um, but the pigs do eat more of it. So you know, it all swings around about. It's all useful to us. There we go. We just seem to have had a little bit of spillage on the field, unfortunately. I think that was when we were trying to turn the corner originally and we didn't realise that we weren't quite emptying as quickly as we thought we were. I had to shut off the auger really quickly. Uh, I think we had a similar issue at the top as well. Not great to use uh, stuff like that, but um, yeah. yeah. It's only a little bit we've lost up here. Let's cut in again. Yeah, it's going well. It's it's a really it is actually a really good corn harvest. That is seventy five percent full. Oh no, not right. No, that's fifty percent full. Our uh, our beacons have gone off. That's good. We we are we are going to get a nice amount. I see William has come back, which is fantastic news. Raring to go. And yeah, in fact, here he comes, uh, which is good because we will get this row done. Um, he's coming round to, to meet us that way, but to be perfectly honest, we're, um, we're looking to catch him the other way around. There we go, that's 75% full. Oh, so around we go. He'll come right round. I think you misunderstood where I wanted to empty. That's alright. So again, we'll empty down the, uh, along this stretch here. We'll stop at the bottom and, uh, and you can uh, and fully unload. And, uh, and then that's good. So we're going to stop a little bit ahead of the end, I think. Come on. There we go. Who's pulling up? That's 80%. And it's on with the auger. 
cuts him. So it's not that the Overs is long enough to handle this, this head on. It is just purely that this head is slightly larger than you might go for. Earlier. There we go. Right, I'm going to get this emptied and, uh, and we'll go from there. Right, so we're empty now. There we go. So let's get our... In. Finish the end of this row. Perfect. Uh, so William should be turning around now, getting ready for the next time uh, we need to unload. Uh, there's not that much left. We've got we've got the cut in here, and uh, so we're going to take another row off there and a row, another row off here, and then that should do us way for the cutting. Sometimes I think this header is wider than it actually is. It's, uh, it's slightly wider than the normal header that we have on this uh, on this combine. So yeah, don't know what's happening there. All right, and cutting in again. So yeah, we've got a small triangle left at the top of the field. Uh, William is part there, but I don't think that we are going to be uh, in need of him right now. Uh, so it's not going to be a full trailer for the off here. It will be a, uh, a smaller one, though. But that's all good. I mean, we're you know a trailer and a bit. That's really good. I mean, that's that's as I say, that's that's more than we've got off the canola. It's not three times as much to make up the price difference, but it's uh, it is certainly more than we've got. You know, which is really good. I'm really pleased with that. That's uh, that does just go to show that you need to, to plant so much more of a crop like that to get the same amount out of it. Gonna cut in, and I want to cut into about the middle of this, even though uh, it's, it's obviously this is a large triangle. But it's uh, it's a really a really healthy crop. This really pleased with this. This is, uh, as I said, this is the polar opposite of what we were doing in the last one. Uh, absolutely, has done really wonders. So I do have some plants to farm. I would guess. Uh, I would guess that the next time, uh, the next series we have on here, uh, the next time I do a series of vlogs, uh, you'll see some changes. Uh, I think, uh, we, you know, we're, we're working on, the, no, no farm stands absolutely stand, uh, still. Uh, so very likely that you'll, you'll see some changes, uh, probably some new equipment, probably some alterations to uh, the buildings. Uh, we'll basically, we'll see where we go. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little while, I think, before uh, BNF and I, uh, BF and I do a uh, series again. Tractor is heading our way. Going to get all the people because. Uh, Okay, 80% full. Uh, William is waiting for us. Damn, I right, can hear him coming now, I think. So not a huge amount left, uh, really, to go at this point. As always, we need to. We're stopping and emptying is a, a much better idea. Here we go. Right. Get 
reality is the trailer. Fantastic. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, not a huge amount of field left by the looks of things. Uh, so I'm going to get this, uh, get this emptied and then we will continue on. So trailer's looking about half full at the moment and uh, we're nearly empty. We are empty. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's about half full, which is really good. Yeah, massively good. We've got, we've got a, you know, a fair amount of field to go. Uh, and it's, it's quite impressive, really, that we have, uh, we have as much as we do that will allow us to, um, to really feed the pigs through the winter. Uh, it's a very nice amount of, uh, of corn. Of I'm very, very pleased with this harvest. After the after the the whole thing that was the canola, and this is fantastic. All right, a little bit left there. Let's get those two stalks. There we go. And up. And around. And we've got we've got, got a huge area here. This is a um, yeah. We're, we should knock this out fairly quickly, and uh, and then we can just. Head over and empty into the trailer. I don't. I don't think this is. Well, this might. This might give us another tank. There's not a huge tank on this combine, so entirely possible that we uh, we might fill this tank up. Although I don't know. It's not a huge. Amount. Here we go. Round and out. Twenty-five percent full. It's not. It's not full of tank. Nowhere near. But I am impressed. I do like it. It's been a, uh, a nice amount that we've got. Um, two bits of the fence under the combine. That's all right. We can come and pick those up when we go to empty. But yeah, that's uh, that's a decent over half over half a uh, over half a trailer full on our second trailer. Um, and yeah, to have a full trailer worth already go, that's fantastic. Let's clear up these straggly bits at the edges, and then those two that we missed. It's a pity we uh, put a little bit on the uh, floor on the deck, but that happens sometimes. Bring it round. And... There we are. Don't move. Oh. Idiot. Why, William, 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 what are you doing? Oh well, are you, uh, we're going to empty this out. So I am going to finish the vlog here. Uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.